Hello, beautiful souls. I wasn't going to jump on, but then I mean, so welcome, my dears. How are you? I am so thankful. I'm sharing it. Let us all be thankful. Let us all continue to manifest our, our greatest. Manifest through our best selves. <laughs> a little tongue tied okay so some people might want you to shut up <laughs> no <laughs> so much to say so much to say so much to say and scorpio out at play i didn't even read about the transits at all going down today or yesterday or anything like that except from like the quietest revolution when I did share something like that. That's pretty much all the astral transits I've been up to date with, aside from <clears throat> from the other video when I was talking about the partial solar eclipse and stuff like that. But either way, all I know is these emotions, these tense energies, shit is popping off. Shit is popping off. Even heightened levels of irritability. So we're going to be extra mindful, you see. And it's like, mm -hmm, I even had to check myself today. And it's like, mm -mm. ooh, child, things are going to get easier. Ooh, child, things are going to get brighter. Sometimes, you know, we take one for the team. And granted, it might suck. Right, because it could feel like, feel like, fudge. <laughs> it could feel like fudge. Damn. It's like I remember that one time when I caught myself in a moment of a life experience of a of a life of a, of a life <laughs> having a life experience. <clears throat> And really feeling not heard at that moment or misunderstood because their, their <clears throat> reception of me was interpreted in such a way. And granted, we can, <clears throat> we can talk wise and apply our knowledge in our lives, but it doesn't take away from the experience in itself and all the emotions that gets invoked and all that's what makes it challenging to do the right thing. Even when you could do something else, <clears throat> right? And so it's just like, in every moon there's a theme, a lesson something more for us to look out upon, to connect with, to help us connect the dots of billions of stars, though. dust particles and this and star particles and that and atoms and molecules and whatever we want to call it. All I know for sure is no matter whom be the being, emotion. Rule the sea. <laughs> oh, that Scorpio in the chart like me. <laughs> it intends if you have Scorpio in your chart, and um, again, we all have everything in us. And like I say, if this is the first time you're tapping in, turning on, turning in with me, take everything like a green assault. You see, everything is humanized, conditioned, programmed into our universal existence of coexistence here. So that which we may think we know may not actually be. It's just all this programming. You know what I'm saying? Although it could apply and although we can apply and think and stuff like that is about a lot more other rabbit hole kind of experiences of jumping outside of a box that ain't a box, but is a box. But yo, what box? You know what I'm saying? And so, misunderstood. Misusing our times. Well, we'll be collecting and regathering 
and putting into purpose, right? And there might be a lot of superficial. Wolves in sheep's clothing, as a saying that they say, because you know me, I love my wolves. And if you didn't see, go watch that video. Me and my wolves, me and my wolves. <laughs> Which reminds me, I gotta go visit my wolves. <laughs> Mama needs some healing. Y'all do. Right? Yeah. So either way, this is going to be a quick one, like I said, but dramatically my wave and <laughs> Scorpio's leading the wave and we got a so partial solar eclipse, right, happening in Eastern Standard Time. It's like six something in the morning. <laughs> well, it's up at six something in the morning anyway. So, okay. Oh. Antoine, thank you on my Instagram for, I saw the, I didn't go to it yet, but it like popped up when I was driving. <laughs> Comments and something about my cheekbones. I get that from my mom's side. <laughs> All of that from my mom's side. You can even see it in Lady Strange, my cousin. Mm -hmm. We got them cheekbones. <laughs> so thank you so much for the love. Always. Anyway. But yeah, I sorry I haven't just gone on yet. So when I get on, I'll respond. <laughs> but since I thought about it now because I just saw my cheekbones, I was like, they are pretty, you know, like whatever. But like when I was younger, um, <clears throat> they were full, but they were still like, so they look like chubby cheeks. I don't know. You all have these complex issues. Like for me, it was always my dark circles under my eyes and I didn't like it. And then all the light eyed, um, family members <laughs> and I'm like why well, I got brown eyes <laughs> the things we could just be so silly about right how I was born the wrong gender I was I had some of my early childhood adolescence thinking that feeling that imagine if I came if I was born from at that time at this time imagine the influencing agenda that would have fucking probably mutilated my ability to grow but I'm glad I got to know myself better, you know? Um, but yeah, <laughs> I used to associate my freakish strength and maybe I was supposed to be me in, <laughs> right? We do these things, right? All these things that we're supposed to interconnect with, but I ain't gonna even go travel that path <laughs> because this is not about that. This is about the solar eclipse, right? Mm -hmm. Anyways, whew, influence. It's a lot of heavy influence. And the influence, that influence, the real influence, they're influenced by you. <laughs> uh-huh. You're their muse. The people in the spotlight. The people who got the attention of the peoples. You're their blood. You're their milk and honey. Bling! I told my soul. <laughs> my daughter made us a delicious meal. I'm thankful I am for that delicious meal. And it was so delicious, I dripped some of myself. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Yeah, you might see even... Right? You'd be like, oh my gosh, I was thinking that. And you see some kind of hot influencer influencing using your things or something like that. You see, or you, they inspire. And for some, it's not even using things. We're all here meant to inspire one another, which is the greatest thing. It's just the hunger pains of the programming that even got those fudged up in their minds to think that, oh, it's got to be mine, you know, that kind of shit. That shit will rob you blind, even if you influence them superficially. Blind enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. That's in the past, though. So many of you are activating in your present, and you're like, whoa, 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 here. <laughs> and then people want to come at you to be like, you don't care. Oh, I do. 
But what? So I gotta be stuck on stupid too? <laughs> so it's all happening. So many faces. We got so many faces, so many blendings. What are you homesick for? What do you keep on needing, breeding, wanting to see, to take, to take, to take, to take, to have, to have, to have, to be, or not to be? Some might have had good intentions, but yeah, we're all like our muse like sensations. I love, like, these last, I, I wrote down that I needed to start sharing. Um, Maybe after the solar eclipse. Um, my comeback into the world where I attempted to socialize again and interact with the humans. <laughs> As now, in my present state of consciousness and awareness and being, and the clarifications of certain things that even maybe before I may have brushed under the carpet or didn't recognize or didn't see or so, you know, oblivious we could be, right? To the happenings, especially if you're not that energy frequency vibration. It's not that you're gullible, it's that you're not that energy frequency vibration. And why should you be in that energy frequency vibration if you are not in that energy frequency vibration? And why you gotta put me there? But they do. They try to drag you down. They get you in the superficial. It's beneath the surface. And beneath the surface, you are their muse. Wow. Yeah. You who listens here. Your superiors. And all those that you look up to want to be and all those kind of clap hands and all this kind of accept me, accept me, take me. You're their fucking muse. I hope that this gets to upload. <laughs> Every time I'm having really good, like where I come on, I just say what I need to say. Those videos are not shared because something happens to them. <laughs> activations but good intentions right returning the favor in the present right you got a bunch of activators still in the jungle sorting out through their power still although feeling empowered feel disempowered and still not accepting or hitting or realizing the leveling of muse you truly freaking are. Speak your own language. <laughs> Ticket, ticket, boop, boop, ticket, ticket. Right? Yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to pull like one or two cards from here. Um, and just what to expect, like this partial solar eclipse, what type of effect is going to ripple effect into your your atmosphere, your stratosphere, your creation sphere, your manifest, right? All that you desire, I wish to inspire, I activate in my present state, aligned in my alchemy, mind, body, heart, and soul in every kind of degree. I am whole. I am divinely led, guided, and protected. No weapon formed against me. Bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Right? Anyways, so... The overall concept of these cards is to explore the journey from unity to fragmentation, polarity, and back. 
to reintegration, right? Since each of us is part of the same one consciousness, right? This is a holographic journey, right? So that unifies us all, right? Good. This card, all right, so I'm going to skip over that. So 21 different species or star systems are represented in the cards to symbolize the main archetypical groups who have influenced the development, development of our galactic family. Okay. The streamer suit, four suits or time streams are recognized, past, present, future, and parallel. These time streams are not meant to imply time periods in a rigid way, but instead refer to the era of evolution from which the energy of each card is derived. Theme. Each card has a theme or lesson that is connected to the civilization it depicts. Contemplative texts and deeper commentary are presented for each card to help users understand how to apply this wisdom in their current lives. Okay. So, what's it gonna be? Because we're moving forward. And the only time you go to look back is to move your hair away from your face. <laughs> My hair got curls for days everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So, whatever. Hold on. <laughs> Cheer up. If you hear, everything's going to be all right. And if you hear from the flip side of the other side of the upside of the downside, whatever, I guess everything's still going to be all right. You know why? Because it's ordained. Oh, gosh. Okay, so what are we learning? What are we growing? What are we evolving? What are we accepting? What are we releasing? What are we getting to really learn and know? Right? What are we going to apply? What are we going to multiply? What are we going to see? What are we going to magnify? What well, we're going to quantum fire, evolutionize. What's coming into our lives this time? That is just like, mm, ah, I like it like that. Mm, ah, I like it like that. Oh, oh, I like it like that. I like it like that. Like that. <laughs> so, what do we like it like that? Jesus, Louise. Okay, so, all right. So there's like a new paradigm, right? That's coming from the parallel. Also from the parallel, some integrity. Because also from this parallel, there's this non-humanoid effect, which is the one I want to read first. Alienness. What's that about? Card 27, 7, 8, 9. 9 is a number of completion. So there's still something being completed so that it can go to the 10, which is 1, which we start again. You hear that, my friends? Okay, so 9 is the completion. We have to commit, we have to, commit to the completion of the cycle. If not, we backtrack where? Then we go to eight. Eight, we're always fighting, and that's great. And we're going to make it, and we think it's all, and we just stay stuck in an eight, a seven, or six. But either way, the nine must complete in order to have that next hit of a fix. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Roll out your shoulders. Roll out, roll out, roll, 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 roll. <laughs> All right, yeah. So, 27. 27. 27. 
The energy of this card refers to the sense of alienness that many humans have that keeps them from feeling connected to life on planet Earth. I understand. I know what it feels like to... You just don't get it. That sometimes it can be like, what's the point? I just don't get it. But then when you start to take care and you start to apply and you start to dive more deeper down deep into your own hive and your own shrine and you care for that first, the greatest part of you which cares for the all, the great, Never mind the ones that are trying to redeem themselves by doing good deeds because of bad acts that they had from before. That now they're trying to redeem it in doing good. It's, it's a whole other kind of lesson needing to be learned of evolution. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the act of the good that has always been you. Nobody, you didn't need to be taught that. You fought that. You fought to be that. 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 That's. That. that avatar because it could have been taken by demons could have been possessed but you took over your vessel doesn't mean you don't make mistakes but you've learned and it shows and you don't do because you're trying to make up you do because it's always in you to do. It's like when in a relationship, one of the most annoying things that, you know, you got to think, people always think they're ready to be um, in a relationship with me, right? Are you? <laughs> right? Are you? Right? Um, because people will be like, what do you want me to do? What do you want to do? Why do I have to tell you what to do? Why are you looking to appease or to do that which is unnatural for you? Do what you feel. Allow yourself to feel. And allow yourself to go there. And if it's not going to rock with the person that you would want it to rock with, then at least you know truth that in my authentic self, that person rejected me. And, 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 and it doesn't have to be a reject. It's just you guys don't mesh. And it's just an honesty. There's nothing wrong with that. Right? You got a lot of insecurities in relationships, right? How dare someone project their insecurities onto a healthy person that doesn't deserve that? So mm -mm, I'm not going to tame my, my authenticity to appease your insecurity. Oh, what does that mean? You be disrespectful. Who's ever said I was disrespectful? If you met me that way, then, okay, why are you questioning it now? But I'm not that way. <laughs> you didn't meet me that way. So why are you adding shit? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying, like, there's people, like, and then there's couples that, why am I talking about couples? So maybe this is about relationships, too. And the relationships with the people in your vicinity, whether it be even family, right? The alienness and stuff like that. But let me finish reading this, okay? Because I'm looking at the time and I do gotta go. Once that phone rings, I'm gonna stop this, say hold up, right? And then I'm gonna come back on and I'm like, okay, gotta go now. <laughs> Just letting you know. Right? So, um, so many feel strange in their own skin as if they came from somewhere else. Oh my, I have so many stories to share. I have so many stories to share about because for whatever reason I came into this world I have long cognitive memory <laughs> and I I um 
I have been documenting my own life journey for a very long time, since even before I could write. And so I have now in my present place, the ability to articulate those experiences and try to explore too and find truth in it for me too, and some, or share if I have. Unless I, I haven't found the truth yet. <laughs> we'll see. There's so much unfolding for all of us. You know what I mean? We're infinite beings. Like you are the sea. And you are the muse for so many. Mm -hmm. Are you watching me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's okay. God lets you know. <laughs> no one look back. So flip your head back and forth. <laughs> okay so many feel strange in their own skin for real i literally i was a tomboy growing up and played a lot of sports and felt like i was the wrong gender and really it was a real thing i'm glad that i got to experience that and go through my own phase and stage and all this kind of stuff without the influence of the today now because, wow, we could have turned that a lot different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, I understand that, too. You know what I mean? I'm quoted <laughs> saying this shit. So, many feel strange in their own skin, right? Because you are more than these bodies. If you're accepting that side of spirituality and self to know that when I close these eyes, yeah, there's fucking more to me. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, what is that? What is that that's behind the scenes that I close my eyes and I still speak, I still think, I still act, I still do. Like, I don't need sight to be that, which is who, oh, who hears, who sees, who's speaking right now? Who's thinking right now? Who's answering too, right? So many different strange components to ourselves that it's only normal, but they don't teach you this. They don't say this, hey, Right now, you're an alien. I know we came in here, we're calling you human. You human, okay? Human, human, W-H-O-M-A-N. Human are you? Who? Who? Who are you? <laughs> you can't make voices and change voices and all that with, with a serious face. So get the hair out from under your, your ass and it bothers you. Because if you bother people, when people talk like this, sometimes my daughter too, though, we'd be in a place like, can you not? I'm like, okay. I'll calm down a little bit. Literally, because that's my daughter. I'm not here trying to embarrass her. I'm like, why are you embarrassed? She's like, no, but can you just not? <laughs> because like, it's like, if I'm having a conversation and I just start, I my voices change naturally. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how to not do that. <laughs> You want me to do something that's foreign to myself? So what? I'll just be quiet. If that's what it means me. And then nobody likes me when I'm quiet. Why are you so quiet? <laughs> it's one or the other. There's no in between. <laughs> real quiet. I'm real chatty. Which one you want? You know? Hi, bye. Mm hmm I know you're a lot of low vibe people. Sounds like a dumb problem, not a me problem, not a you problem, okay? Okay, we move on, okay? Okay. So you may indeed have a connection to non-human beings in the universe. Mm, right? Maybe that's why I was always saying things. I was saying that too on the car ride when we were going to New York. I remember driving in the car with my grandparents, and anytime they rolled over an inanimate object, I had a... Like a, like a funeral for them in my mind. Nobody knew this was going on behind the scenes. Like I had this whole, oh no, actually I said, well, nobody knew what was going on behind the scenes. No, all the time, like, oh, paper bag, <laughs> a plastic bag. Oh, but nobody's listening. Nobody heard me. I had this whole murder scene that my grandfather rolled over these plastic bags. And I was the only one mourning them. Nobody got it. <laughs> right. Okay. So you may indeed have a connection to non-human beings. And that's just me being really um silly with it. 
truthful with it and there's more to it of course but yeah it's just one scoop of a scoop of a sugar packet <laughs> i gotta finish this stop okay so you may indeed have a connection to non-human beings in the universe, but because you are human in this life, this card asks you to begin embracing your uniqueness and celebrate it rather than fear it or be ashamed of it. If you need help, ask some loving non-human beings to assist you during meditation. Feel their aliveness. Oh no, feel their alienness, aliveness. And open your heart to them anyway. You and they are one. Commentary. This is one of the deck's few archetypical cards that does not necessarily point to a specific species that but rather a state of consciousness that is affecting you now in terms of our collective family it may symbolize a connection blah, 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 to any number of non-humanoid races with whom you have connections you may already know who they are if you don't know it is important that you do there are a myriad of non-human species in creation the main idea is to examine any feelings of alienness that you may have right of not belonging or being different why you got me cry I cannot begin to tell you how many depths and how many transformations I have had and this personal shedding of um what is that this belonging and this feeling alienated and like I even hashtag alienation. <laughs> I've had so many depths of rebirths of this acceptance and this cry and it's still always a shedding but we gotta get to the truth of how we feel inside and you can't deny you can't lie you gotta go through it's the truth right so it's so important that you do often this feeling keeps us disconnected from life or gives us excuses to not engage in this reality this is why I got those overly active imaginations. Love bomber. He spreads love across the world. Shh. Healing love. Shh. See, this is love bomber. Alien. Doesn't he look like a little alien? He's so cute, right? He's a little alien. He got some magic in him. <laughs> Best believe. Because I'm mad at You know what I mean? Do I need that kind of protected to make it how I see it? Right? So, shh. Yeah. These are my friends. <laughs> That's my friend. Love Mama is my friend. Okay. Anyways. We make our own friends. Exactly. Do you get it now? We're growing. Thank you so much. Okay, right, so I need to shoot this. I gotta stop crying. Hold on, please. Let me have that one. Okay. Just gonna pause this. I gotta take a, a major break. <laughs> I'll be back. All right. Um, you won't see the difference. I'll continue from where I left off. Since I didn't finish it, because I got to go now. Okay, 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 okay. But I'll be back. Because I love you. And because I love me. And that's it. Okay. We'll be back. Also, before I go, check out the latest updates, the new releases on witchyutopian.com. There's a master link that I share. I write down all the lists, um, um, all the links and stuff like that in the description box. So always check in the description box, but go to witchyutopian.com. I got some cool stuff that I make um, and as dope as fudge, powerful, potent as can be. And it's all about divine alchemy. And it's so cute, you know, because I love beautiful things. So go check it out. Witchyutopian.com. Thank you. <laughs> I'm finally back. <laughs> I'm so tired. And I was debating, right, whether to hit record again or just save it for like tomorrow. And then I started munching on some stuff. <laughs> well, I was giving my cat some treats and stuff and talking to my dog and 
whatever, doing my things, right? And so then I start looking at my phone and I like to sometimes use these like right before I pop into bed opportunities as my moment to show some love too and look around. So I go on Instagram and I happen to, I happen to get you this, stop it. I happen to see the Crying Solutions post. And um, she has like a, I have something I want to do. <laughs> she has like a slide through of different posts and writings, right? And about the transits, which is true. But then I get to the last one and it reminded me of something I think I said in this video <laughs> earlier in the day. Hey, stop it about how many times I have died and have been reborn and transformed. It's like the phoenix, you know? Um, how many times I've, I've shed a layer of something that hurt, right? And in this quote, if the pain is deep, you will have to let it go many times. Young Pueblo. Anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm debating because I still have a couple of things to do and I'm really exhausted. <laughs> and if my cats don't knock this out of play system, then maybe I can continue recording tomorrow. Maybe I should upload and continue tomorrow anyways and give you this. <laughs> yeah, I got to do that because it's a solar eclipse. I could give you partial. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, so since it's a partial... I'm sorry, I was munching. I'm gonna take some juice. I'm gonna take some water. I got stuff to do. Okay? I'm tired. <laughs> I'm gonna So, I'm gonna give you partial of this. I have everything here so I can continue. <laughs> I'm always continuing, which is why you should just subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm a continuation. Continuation. I remember we're here for our evolutionary elevations. I remember. If you're here and you're listening and you're that listener, the other one, right here, the good, right? Activate it, activating. You are the muse for all those around you, even when they try to snuff you out, even when they try to ignore you and act like they don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You the muse. <laughs> even though they don't like you. They might be, <sighs> but take a note. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, I will continue this because I have the cards here and I'll pull again after our solar eclipse. I, what are you doing? I'm, I'm waking up a little early or I might or may not. We shall see. <laughs> Either way, the ritual is instinctual within me happening regardless of anything, of what's what. And you don't need to know your ritual is you getting to know you, and everything's going to be all right. All right, so we're going to continue this. So I'm going to give you this partial hit of a mix. Yeah, and part two of this will come. <laughs> I've had so many parts in my parts, which is why you should follow, subscribe, tune in, tap in, turn on, and get, and eat the fajimana, eat the fajimana, eat the fajimana, you know what I mean? All right, anyways, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm exhausted. It's ridiculous. Happy partial solar eclipse. Here's my partial hair and mix, and I hope you like it. Let's make a remix. And then, and uh, oh my, I was channeling the other day, and that energy came in, and I was just like, oh no. Because it took me to a place very dark and cold, and things I don't ask to know, and you know, and I didn't want to go, go in there, and but you know, sometimes people just want to be heard, and that's the thing. Don't let it be that outside of this dynamic of this human flesh, that you die without having your, without having been heard, because the cycle keeps coming back like a beast. It'd be like a haunting. 
You know what I mean? Partial solar eclipse of your Scorpio in action up in here. I'm talking about it's going to sting if you resist it. Don't resist it. How are you feeling? I think it's vacation mm home. -hmm. Love, mama. Bombs the world. Shh. And you get love bombing. You get love bombing. And you get love bombing. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. I'm going to go floss. <laughs> I hate when I feel like I got food in my thing. It's an annoying feeling. Okay. Peace out. Let's go. Go floss and brush your teeth. Let me. Yeah. Yeah. ¿Qué pasó? What happened? Okay, I'm getting off now. There you go. She'll be calling me. Shiba? Well, okay.